you talked about uh, LERM, the light encoded reality matrix, mm-hmm. and I've read about people who can create a ball of string or uh, various things, actual physical objects just by yes changing the light encoded reality matrix. Bingo. Uh, I'm, I'm fascinated by that idea. And I understand that we're doing that already. Already, and I would I would like to be able to do that consciously, as a like NLP says, going from unconscious competence to conscious competence. Is there? I haven't seen some some baby steps I could try. It seems to be an all or nothing. So, mm, what would no, be no, a better? No, no. It's not all would, or nothing. What would be a better way of looking at it? Or okay, have you seen an athlete? Uh, the love of the game. I believe the movie is Kevin Costner. Pitcher on this like epic moment in the game, bottom of the night, that kind of thing. Two outs, bases loaded, whatever. Winning the game. He gets into a zone. Many of your athletes do that. Picture themselves and they're in the zone where there's no sound and only their focus. They let's say the whole stadium disappears from that pitcher. There's nothing. They get into the zone of themselves in the moment. Clear the mechanism. This is the first step. Period. Hello, Mike. You find your complete isness of the moment. You get into a practicum. You even use words. I am in the zone. Clear the mechanism. I am God. I am all that is. Whatever gets you into a feeling of complete stillness in the isness of the moment. The chatter will cease and you'll only be focused in the now. It is a practical in and of itself. You never try to stop the chatter. You allow the chatter because the chatter goes away. Because there's nothing feeding it. Period. The mind is always still. It is only us talking with the mind that says that it's not still. Thoughts are coming in, but it's your choice to have the thoughts or not. And as long as you're focusing on thoughts, then the thoughts keep coming. So as you are in the zone, there's only the one thought of being now. Focusing on the stillness. And let all the other thoughts Move, play out, and as you do this, in a couple of, let's say, waking moments of meditation, not like deep meditation, just let the thoughts flow. You can do a walking meditation, sitting down, or you can meditate, close your eyes, but don't like try to do a deep one. That has too many constrictions in it. Then you get the idea of what it is to be in the zone. This idea is where you would start creating out of thin air. Let's say your Tibetan monks have mastered this. It is a secret that will not be revealed to, let's say, the collective until the collective is ready for it. Because if it really got out on how easy it was, once you understand the processes, then the whole system collapses. So it won't be because we want the revolution, evolution, revelation truly, of the collective whole. We could have all healed ourselves years ago, eons ago. But we want the journey to fill our soul. Trust this. All right. So, that practicum idea to be in the zone and however you get there. Now, how do you know you're in the zone is the next question you just asked. You know. That's why you don't think about how you know. You just start the practicum of being in the stillness of the moment. I'm in the zone. Hmm. That idea will get you there more and more as you practice. This is why there's no expectation and no time. Don't rush. That more and more practicum, you will become familiar with your own zone. First step. Second step. 
familiarity with an object you would like to create. I'm going to give you a side note here. Every object in your reality you already know, from the intricate, let's say, electronic device to the most simplest idea of a wood cabinet, hmm? to a more, let's say, interworkings of a machine as well, maybe a car, automobile, something like that. Hmm? All of those is in you, or they would not be in your reality to create. But familiarity is where you would want to start. What I mean by that is something that is simple and you're very familiar with. In your case, that of a fruit, that of a vegetable, does not matter. Whatever you are most intimate with in that fashion, of the feeling of it in your hand, the smell of it, and the taste of it. All of it is in play. You don't need to concentrate on any of these. You just need to be familiar. So the one that it pops into your mind, which it just has, is the one you would want to practicum create. Make sense? Yeah. All right. The next idea is you picture this item in your mind. You see the item in your mind's eye. That item is pictured. You spin it around in any way you can. Become intimate with it once again. Know the texture. Know the smell. Know the taste. You don't need to know how to create it once again. You just need to know them. Familiarize yourself for a few nows. Then the idea is to energize your body. Your body, practicum, is already, let's say, putting out an enormous amount of electricity. You just don't know it. The amount of, let's say, electricity is enhanced by your focus of energizing your body just by saying, energize my body. Coupled with the idea of the zone, where there is only energize in your zoneness, so to speak, it only enhances it. Now, with that idea in your mind, you visualize it three feet in front of you. From your heart chakra directly out, your eyesight at a 35 degree angle to that object three feet away from you. Not up straight, not below. Right here. Because that is your zone. Are you following so far? Yeah. All right. You see that in your open eyes as a gaze or your closed eyes. It does not matter. You can gaze with your open eyes right in front of you and see the orange sitting in the air with your mind's eye and your translated visual gauge creating it in both realities. It is in the reality of your mind and it is in the reality of your visual context. Does this make sense? Yeah. So you can do it with the eyes closed or the gaze. It doesn't matter. They are in both realities because it's all one reality. All right. You picture an idea of this we call it a sink, S-I-N-K. Not like a, well, it can be in the fashion of a kitchen sink, but a large area of a sink. Hmm? Because you're going to spray things into the sink. And this whole sink is this energy field that projects from your body all around. And you're going to spray into this sink. This idea is all energized in the moment in a practicum. With your body, your visualization, your intention, your familiarity, your understanding of the object in familiarity, which you already know, so you don't need to know, once again, how to do anything. Because you're already doing it. You're letting yourself reveal it to yourself. You with me so far? Yep. Next step. You create sprayers, much like that of a spray gun, a paint gun doesn't matter. At the top right, top left, far right, far left. Bottom right, bottom left, bottom left, back, left and right. Yeah. Eight sprayers that spray reality into place. It's a practicum because you understand it. You can do it in any way, but you understand what a sprayer is. So what you are doing is creating. I am intentionally creating an object out of thin air. Perfect. So what happens now? Light and code reality matrix. Everything is signaling to all the outside ideas of conscious units and electric eons. Hmm? Electric energy units, eons we call them. 
will come in and say, and we're using the practicum of, uh, let's say, believability here, say, oh, someone is energizing the idea of an orange. I'm an orange unit now. I'm going to come in and co-create because I am this energy. There's no not co-creating, period. We say that as a practicum, but that's going to be, let's say, let go of in the future. So these energy units are being drawn in by you. You're using the modality that's believable, that you spray conscience units energy in the form of whatever you choose an orange to appear like. Hmm? You see it as you're familiar. It looks like an orange. You spray whatever it is out of those sprayers, and then you unfold in your mind the orange. You see it spraying from all four corners, and it starts to take form. First, there is just the orange in your mind's eye. But now you see the orange gone, and now you see the orange silhouetted, and now you see the orange once again, the orange through this spraying idea. It's taking from the visual 3D reality and spraying it into the physical reality. So that orange is orange, and now it's unfolding into this orange. And you spray it into place. And when it's done, you reach out and you grab it. You smell it and you taste it. You peel it and you hold it. If it's not there in physical reality, don't get pissed off. Say, perfect. And you're done. You collapse it. And then you're done with that practicum. Then you do the entire thing again with a new vibration and a new understanding. And it will shift into its own way that you have already set up to create out of thin air. It will be the same way, but there will be intricate ideas of shifting that feel it shift in you because it's a better way, conducive way to create out of thin air. Easier. Make sense? Yep. Everything mutates. This is not the way to do it. This is the guide for you to discover the way to do it. Understood. So then you do it again. And you create. And it is truly that simple. But again, it's the filters. How thick is that belief? It, it, yeah, it feels similar to like an inkjet printer, but you're printing sure. with That's, intention. Your visualization is perfect. And then make it a 3D inkjet, and eventually you end up with a Star Trek replicator. Beautiful. That's what I'm talking about. It's unfolding into your modality. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Play with it. I will play with it. I think we're out of time now, uh, but this was so, so fun and exciting that I'm looking forward to the time we can do it again. Beautiful. All right. Uh, let's say, yeah. All right. Let me return you to Roxanne. Stand by. Thank you. I bid you a good day. You're most welcome. Adonai.